Hi guys, it's Beacon Hill Books. I'm here to do a sort of author spotlight on one of my favorite authors, Margaret George. I just finished her book, The Confessions of Young Nero, and really enjoyed it. And I don't see her a lot on booktube, so I wanted to give her a little bit of love. I want to just quickly tell you about her and then a quick synopsis of all of her books, and then I will tell you sort of my rating of them all. She was born in Nashville, Tennessee, but her dad was employed in the U.S. Diplomatic Service, so they traveled quite often. She was a very avid reader, and when she ran out of things to read, she started writing books. She had an affinity towards nature and oftentimes would keep pets, including land tortoises, which she has to this day. So therefore, she ended up going to Tufts University, where she double majored in English Literature and Biology. She then got her MA in Ecology from Stanford University. She got this idea of trying to write the story of Henry VIII because she kind of felt like he had a bad rap. And so that kind of inspired a book from his point of view that is one of her most famous books and personally my favorite as well. We have the autobiography of Henry VIII with notes from his fool, Will Summers. This is a book, obviously, from the point of view of Henry VIII, and there are interjections from his fool, jester, and confidant, Will Summers. This book is from Henry's birth all the way up to his death, and with characters in between like Cromwell, Wolseley, Moore, and all of his wives. This was my first foray into getting to know any of the Henry VIII history, and it opened the door for me to have this little bit of an obsession about learning about Henry VIII and all of his wives. The next book is Mary Queen of Scotland and the Isles. This book is about a child crowned a queen, a sinner, hailed as a saint, a lover, denounced as a whore, a woman murdered for her dreams. This is a fictional account of the life of Mary. It traces her lineage and describes her childhood marriages and her historic fight with Elizabeth over the throne of England. But it's interesting to read from her point of view the interactions between her and Elizabeth. The next book is Memoirs of Cleopatra. This was my first Margaret George book I read and this instantly hooked me to her. I immediately needed to find out what else she wrote and I highly enjoy this book and recommend it to anyone that likes Egyptian history. This story is told from Cleopatra's point of view. It begins when she's 20 years old and is seeking out Julius Caesar and all the way until she plots her own death. And it is so rich in historical detail. I loved it. The fourth, Mary of Magdalene. This book is obviously about Mary and it begins when Mary is young and Jesus helps her kind of get better until her death. I'm not a super religious person. I did go to church when I was little, but this did help me learn more about her. It was very interesting. I did enjoy it, although I will say it's probably my least favorite of all of Margaret George's books. It's still entertaining and I did learn a lot. The fifth book was Helen of Troy. This book is about Helen. It's told from her perspective and it's about the Homeric tale and her life that she was destined to create strife and destroy civilization. I very much enjoyed this book. I read it before I saw the most recently released movie and I do think it has a lot to add to the richness of the story. And number six is Elizabeth I. This book was very entertaining. It is the story of Elizabeth and her cousin Lettuce Knowles, two women with a lot of similarities fighting over the same guy, trying both to get to the crown. One wants to protect it and the other one wants to gain it. I really enjoyed this book as well. And then the final book, which I just read and did a video on that I will link to, is The Confessions of Young Nero. So this book starts off when Nero is just a little boy and it ends right when there's the fire in Rome. There is a second book coming out. That's This is the first time that Margaret George has done this but I find the first book was a little over 500 pages, so it was probably a good decision. It's just the waiting that is the hard part. In terms of my particular ratings of these books, my, my favorite book is the Henry VIII book, and a close second would be the Memoirs of Cleopatra, and a close third would be the book about Nero, and then Helen of Troy, 
But see, right in there, I still also like Elizabeth, so where do I slot her? I mean, I really, it's really hard for me to pick. I will just say one and two for sure. The rest are just right under those, and I'm gonna leave it at that because I can't pick. And I'm just so excited when I hear that Margaret George is releasing a new book because she immerses herself so much with knowledge in the character that you then learn so much yourself but the way she delivers it is so easy to read and to be entertained by and to remember and I I can't recommend her enough everybody I know that likes historical fiction I instantly tell them that they need to read Margaret George if they haven't already so have you guys read Margaret George do you have a favorite of her books or is there a book that you want to read do you guys have authors that are similar to Margaret George that you could recommend to me? Uh, please let me know. And I hope that you all have happy reading. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.